What the heck is Sorted Food? What's it all about? It's not just two of you, it's four of you. Off you go. Uh, yeah, there's four of us. Uh, we've known each other for 25 years. So we went to school together. Uh, and it was when we left school and uh, we went off our different ways. We realised, couldn't cook. Absolutely had absolutely <laughs> rubbish uh, anything to do with food. So fortunately for us, Ben was training to be a chef. Nice. Uh, and we were texting him at uni going, right, I've got 10 quid to last me the rest of the week. How do I feed myself? Uh, and that started this conversation about food and it turned into a YouTube channel and 13 years later, we're still doing it. So Ben, it sounds like you're, um, you bought all the instruments, you're writing all the songs and, and everybody else is taking the credit. What, what's their deal? I mean, there is a little bit of that. I've got to be honest, Chris. But at the same Sounds time, like a lot of it to me. <laughs> we've always said it's a conversation between chefs and normals, right? Because chefs are odd. We're a, we're a strange breed and we think in very peculiar ways. So you need a normal home cook to balance out that conversation. And that's where we've got three of them on the channel. Um, but actually, we've got millions around the world who are normal home cooks. And that's who we're trying to, trying to help. So how does, it work? how does your channel work? What kind of things do you get up to? So it started as recipes, simple, easy stuff. But nowadays, it's just an exploration around food. So kitchen gadgets, appliances, how to cook on a budget, but also a lot of travel. So exploring food, global cuisines, getting out of the kitchen um, and eating in restaurants too. So it's kind of the whole scope of food. So, Jamie, do you have a channel or do you just publish videos? Post we, videos? Ha we have a channel called Sorted Food. So right. that's on YouTube and then it's across Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and threads and everywhere else now. I don't know how that works. Is it, com <laughs> is it as complicated as it sounds? It seems to be very successful if you can get it right. It sh it's just us having a chat. So yeah, it's really uh, it's really good fun. Do you have a regular slot? Do you like it on a Friday or a Saturday? Or? Yeah, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 4pm. So our audience know to go there at those times. And do and they find come? The videos that they do. So and they're do hundreds you, of thousands. Do you trail forward and about things you're going to do? Yeah, exactly. So we, people know what we're going to be doing each week um, and then we like to surprise people. So we have sort of regular series that come back, whether it's testing kitchen gadgets and that kind of thing. And every now and then we'll do something completely new. Yesterday was a video all about, is British food terrible? Uh, and we could, <laughs> we, <laughs> Because we've got a global audience, everyone wants yes. to know about this reputation so of true, British food. It? And we have got the up best a, reputation in the world. It was a Parmo from Middlesbrough. And Very apparently regional. we got it quite wrong. Very regional. <laughs> and then, do you do live broadcast then yeah i mean we've done live uh, tv radio bits and pieces like that i think when you get in front of people and can feed people yeah that's when you can really like hook people in because yeah. let's be honest we do content on youtube and food is about what it tastes like and what it smells like yeah right and you miss out on that in video mm. so our job is to make it as sort of inclusive as possible and when you can get in the room with someone i think it helps